on Twitter as you do, then I come across this from a pretty decent ITK. He says Darwin Nunes is interested in joining Arsenal and Arsenal are interested in signing him and that a deal may actually happen. And I was like, what on earth is actually going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all things Darwin Nunes and what I would think about the potential signing. Of course, this is all just, you know, sort of in the air. Is it true? Is it not? That doesn't matter. I just wanna assess it because I think it's quite fascinating. But before I begin, if you are new here, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button too. It'll be greatly appreciated. But let's get into Darwin Nunes. Firstly, let's just talk about the source. AFC Camden, he's pretty known across the Arsenal Twitter as a pretty decent ITK. He's got multiple stuff right in the past. But he came out with this and, you know, yesterday he was like, Nunes to Arsenal might be happening. He wants, you know, a sort of a move and Arsenal will try and do something before the deadline. And I was like, OK, this is kind of out the blue. We know we need a centre forward, but... There's just something quite funny about having Darwin Nunes, Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz as your striker options. Three strikers who, in the greatest respect, are kind of allergic to scoring goals. And, I, and I'm not disrespecting them at all. Darwin Nunes, especially at Benfica, was fantastic. He knew where the net was. But it, do we need that right now? Do we need players of the same mould? We want different profiles. I guess the only thing that Nunes really has that I would be so excited about is his raw pace and his runs in behind. But, you know, runs in behind, you got that by habits. And pace, I guess, on the transition is, is kind of needed in this Arsenal team. And I don't know if we are taking it too far with this whole pace thing that we'd be able to get someone like Nunes. We'd be happy to get Nunes because he has that speed. For me personally, Nunes, I am a big fan of him as a player. I feel like under Arteta, he will explode as well. And, it, and the links do make sense in the sense that, you know, Arteta wants a striker that also has the ability to play on the wings. Darwin Nunes can play on the left wing, he can play on the right wing, scored a lot of goals at Benfica from the left as well. So maybe Arteta actually does want Darwin Nunes. We've been interested in him for a while. We were, you know, interested when he was at Benfica. But I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. Just purely because of the striker options we have. Nunes is so similar in the fact that he's not a pure, you know, sort of goal scorer in the Premier League yet. But, you know, different strikers adapt in different ways. Maybe Nunes is much better in a team like Arsenal where we create chances in a structured sort of way. And what I mean by that is Liverpool are quick, 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 Chances come to you, you've got to be quick, you've got to react fast. At Arsenal, that's not how it works. And I feel like Nunes is better suited to a slower approach. It gives him time. You know, obviously, Havertz has one-on-ones, but you can't count Arsenal having as many one-on-ones in a game as, you know, sort of Liverpool. And that's maybe suited the sort of striker he is. A calm sort of approach, ball coming into the box, having, you know, sort of time, knowing runs in the box. We push the opposition so backwards as well. We create this sort of box around the opposition that they can't escape their own even box. And I think Nunes will suit that with his movement as well in the box. I feel like playing at Arsenal would definitely suit his game a lot more than playing at Liverpool. But of course, Liverpool are a fantastic club. We know Arnslot's gameplay. But that's where you've got to be kind of worried. Someone like Arnslot, a fantastic manager, why would he want to get rid of someone like Nunes? If we're talking about him as a transitional impact and threat, why would he want to get rid of someone like that? And then you start thinking, is it because of his attitude? You know, we sort of know Arteta loves to have these sort of people in the squad who are bubbly, warm, confident, incredible mentality. Does Nunes fit that as a whole? I talked about Marino yesterday, having all these things, humility, confidence, you know, sort of this good character. He's just a good character. And is Nunes that we've seen him get into a lot of, you know, messy stuff, headbutting players. Does Arteta really want another hothead in the team? I don't think so. And that's where you start questioning the links a bit. But as a pure player, Darwin Nunes obviously is a transitional threat. He's got a lot of pace. He can play left wing and striker. He's tall, six foot two. You know, Arteta seems to love players which are really tall. And he's at this physical sort of dimension to the attack again imagine having Havertz and Nunes up front how causing havoc in the box with their movement it'll be quite special and Nunes something I love about him is his ball striking he really can strike a ball really well and that's what we're kind of lacking in the front line pure strikers of the ball Nunes you know cutting in I saw his goals at Benfica there's obviously clips that I've got on this video he can really curl one into the top corner he has the quality to do that and I feel like at Arsenal that's where he's going to be best utilized probably we see him on the left wing but again Arsenal need a winger with one versus one threat. And is Darwin Nunes a pure 1v1 threat? No. So again, as a profile, as a winger, as, as a, I know he's a striker as well, what we need, is he is he really what 
is needed at this present moment in time. Someone like Isak, for me, would fit the bill more than someone like, you know, sort of Darwin Nunes, because Isak is a pure dribbler, he's a goal scorer as well, he's pretty quick as well on the counter-attack in transition. He ticks all of those boxes. Nunes ticks quite a few of them. Isak is also tall, sorry. I know Arteta loves that. So, you know, when you're looking at the other option as, as a player who is kind of similar to Darwin Nunes, Alexander Isak, for me, would definitely be the better option. But then we've also, again, got a factor in price. Is Isak going to be 120 million, likely with Newcastle? Is Darwin Nunes going to be under 50 million? If so, then that's a really, really good deal. If we can get Nunes for someone for somewhere like 45 to 50 million, I'd be straight on it 100%. Because for that sort of price, you get so many extra things in the squad. Running power, strength, you know, sort of this just this transitional threat on those Champions League nights. You need pace in behind. Nunes can offer that from the wide flanks, but also through the centre. He gives you extra sort of, a new sort of profile in the squad. And it'll be quite interesting to see how clinical he can get under Arteta. We know Arteta is still working with this man here, Kai Havertz. But Nunes, I feel like, has the pure striking fundamentals to be even better than Havertz as a pure nine. He's a Havertz creator. And he did cause us a lot of problems. I remember at the Emirates when we played Liverpool, Darwin Nunes was really, really good in the sense that he caused problems to us. You know, he was his runs in behind with his strength, with his link up play, which is really, really good. When Darwin Nunes is on it, he can be a real, real problem for, you know, opposition defenders like us. So I, I, I get it. I get the link as in he would fit the bill of an Arteta sort of striker, a sort of winger. But I don't get it in the sense that he's quite similar in terms of outside of having raw pace and the ability to play on the left wing to Havertz and Jesus. I mean... That's what I want. How different is Darwin Nunes to Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz? And let me know in the comments down below, how different are they as players? Because then you start to struggle. Why are we just getting the same profile as player? It's like looking at the left-back situation. We've got Calafuri, we've got Timba, we've got Zinchenko. Okay, Timba and Zinchenko. Two players that love to invert. Why would we want to now go and get a third player who wants to invert as well? With, with whatever defens defensive deficiencies, attacking deficiencies, but a player who can invert, why would we want to do that when we've already got Zinchenko and Timber? And that's the same with getting Nunes when we already have someone like Havertz and Gabriel Jesus. I know we're desperate to sign a striker, Gunners, but I don't think we're this desperate to get a profile that is already so similar to the likes of Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz. But quite interesting that that's in a link, you know. We talk about the Portuguese league as well. I know a lot of you want Gyokarez, Gyokarez this, Gyokarez that. I get it. Gyokarez is a really, really good striker. But what is actually stopping Gyokarez coming to the Premier League after being so prolific? in um in portugal and being like nunez and struggling to score 10 league goals what is actually stopping him he's a lot older than nunez as well that's another thing on nunez's side he's a young striker he still needs to be cultured he's still learning his trade gyokarez is 26 i don't think we'll have any time or space for any excuses if gyokarez does a nunez type season and we buy him for 70 mil and i think this is why arsenal are so cautious with this striker sort of winger sort of signing because they know they need somebody who's ready kind of kind of like a trossard but also the ability to start in week out because we need some different profile on the wings and also in the striker position. But anyway, that's it for now, goodness. Let me know in your thoughts on these strange Darwin Nunes links. I'm a fan of him as a player, but I don't see why we'd want to get such a similar profile in him, you know, to Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz. But anyway, goodness, that's it for now. And until next time, peace.